Factoring. Here's a multiple choice question for you. How many of the following statements show correct factoring? x square minus 8x plus 15 equals to x minus 5 times x minus 3. Part B is x square minus 6x plus 36 equals to x minus 6 whole square. Part C is x square minus 9 equals to x minus 3 whole square. And D is x square minus xy minus 3y equals to x plus 2y times x minus y. Now you are given choices here that either none of them is correct, 1 is correct, 2, 3 or 4 is correct. How are you going to solve this question? One way is you can factor each one of them and check your answer. The second way is that <clears throat> you can make a judgment, right? So when you are looking at the first statement, we need product of 15 and sum of minus 8. And of course, minus 5 times minus 3 is plus 15. And when I add minus 5 and minus 3, I do get minus 8. So this is true. The next one is x minus 6 whole square. You know, a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. You can expand this. If I expand x minus 6 whole square, I get x square minus 2 times 6 times x plus 6 square, right? So 2 times 6 is 12, not 6, right? So therefore, this is false. Now here we have a, a square minus b square. So actually, the factor of this should have been x minus 3 times x plus 3, correct? Not x minus 3 whole square. So this is also false. Now in this case, you can either factor or you can expand this. Let us expand. So I'm showing you different ways of checking. Let us expand using distributive property. So when I multiply by x's, I get this equals to x squared and then x times minus y means minus xy plus 2xy and then we have minus 2y squared minus 2y squared. So clearly there's a my y squared term totally missing. So this is indeed incorrect. So this is also false, right? You could combine that to get plus xy. So we have plus xy here and the last term should have been minus 2y squared. <clears throat> so this is also false. So the only we have one correct answer. So the choice is B for us. Thank you.